Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first ever Otaku A Team podcast. This Woo. is going to be a weekly podcast where we discuss everything and anything anime related. To start off, we are going to introduce our host for the show so that you, the viewer, can become more familiar with us. We will each answer four questions. The first one being, what is your channel and where can you be found on social media? We are starting off with Habit. Hello, guys. I'm Habit, and you can check out my channel at Habit Plays, and you can check out my various social medias like uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Habit Plays as well. Next up, we have Blade. Hey, everyone. I'm Blade Ninja. You can check out my channel on YouTube, uh, Blade Ninja. Uh, you can also check me out on Twitter, Blade Ninja 9 and also on my anime list, Rinosuke009. Now for Jester. All right, I'm Jester. You can find me on YouTube at Jester T and on Twitter, Jest ZR. So, yeah. And last but not least, yours truly, Memory Me. You can find me on YouTube and Twitter at Memory NK. My anime list is Memory OG. The second question we have What is your channel about? Have it? So, I make various videos on my channel, like uh, full length anime reviews, episode reviews, and anime news videos. Blade? Uh, I do various uh, anime reviews. I also do the show called The Anime Talk, where I talk about random anime discussions, like why is anime so hyped? Jester? I mainly do anime design, such as banners, Twitter headers, stuff like that, and I also do gaming and anime videos as well. So, yeah. And on my channel, you will mostly find daily live reactions to the seasonal anime. Some other stuff like anime skits, I sometimes do like live reactions to those. But I also bring out occasionally some anime news videos and anime ranking videos. The third question we have, what is your favorite and least favorite genre of anime? Starting off with Habit again. Uh, so my favorite genre is probably romance. It's uh, what I watch the most. And my least favorite would probably be mech. Um, I was a big fan of Mech a long time ago, but kind of fell out from watching Mech series. Blade? Uh, similar to Habit, my favorite genre is romance. I, lo I love romance stories. Uh, my least favorite is sports, and the only reason particularly for that is I, I don't think that in any sport you actually see like a flying baseball flying at the speed of light <laughs> or with flamethrowers on it or stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, Jester? <laughs> All right, my favorite, probably Adventure and Shonen, uh, because, you know, I like all of the adventures that there are to experience. And uh, my least favorite is Mecha. I just generally do not like Mecha at all. So, yeah. Okay, so we have two mech haters in here, and my favorite <laughs> genre is mech. <laughs> and I, I know a lot of mech anime, like follow the same formula and most of them do poorly in ratings but the few mech anime that really stand out are some of the best pieces of work that i've personally watched like gurren lagan code geass eureka 7 and like there's no real mid ground with mech series they're either like really good or really bad and i guess it's just like a good thing that i've only watched the really good ones and for my least favorite genre, I would say horror, just because I'm not really into blood, gore, and people screaming their damn heads off. <laughs> but I will say I actually enjoyed Another, which is probably the only horror anime I've ever enjoyed out of all the ones I've watched. I've watched a couple, but like I hate Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, well, I don't really hate Tokyo Ghoul all that much, but Another was pretty good. That's like the only horror anime I've ever liked. <laughs> uh, the last question we have... What are your top three favorite anime series as of right now, Habit? So my number one for sure would have to be Clanid, and obviously most people would understand that if they've ever watched Clanid, obviously just because of the feels that you get from the series. And my second one would be Your Lie in April. Um, I, honestly, it was pretty unique when I first watched the series because... Uh, I've never really seen a music anime before, and it was music and romance, so, I mean, it was really great. And uh, the third one is Hunter x Hunter, and if you've seen the series, then obviously you know why as well. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the better long-running series, so that's my three. Okay, Blade? I was going to say, um, my first three, well, at least my first two... Are very similar habit there. Clan Ed, which is my top favorite anime, 
And personally, I just think the story is very nice for it. I love the characters for it. Um, I just kind of like how it deals with this kind of slice of life elements and it's romance elements where it doesn't feel like you're always watching an anime more so you feel like you're actually seeing a real story unfold. Um, mm-hmm. Your line, April, I love because I, I really do, do love music. And I think that's one of the coolest things about that show is they have a romance element with also music being involved. It's perfectly infused to me in, in my concept. Mm-hmm. And then my third favorite is Dusk Maiden of Amnesia, which a lot of people know on my channel. Uh, I just love that story just because it's so unoriginal and like, or actually, it's very original, not unoriginal, <laughs> for its concept of um, having a ghost fall in love with a, 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 a actual living person. Yeah, and I just, I just love that story. I, I think it's really awesome the way they did it. It's one of the few anime also that I've seen several times that's actually made me cry every single time that I've seen it. So, <laughs> uh, And last, Jester. Right, my favorite One Piece, of course. The characters in One Piece are <laughs> incredible. They're like the best part about it. Like the characters, all of the crew members are hilarious and they're just, they're great characters. My second is Hunter Hunter. Same as Habit, but his is third instead. But Hunter Hunter <laughs> was incredible. The damn hiatus just need it just needs to come back like yeah. as soon as possible. And the third one, a lot of people haven't heard of it. But it's Rainbow Nisha Rokubo no Shichinin. I think that's how you pronounce the last word. Something like that. But it is We're not Japanese. Awesome. It's okay. Like, it is such a good series and it's a must watch, to be honest. So, yeah, I still need to watch Hunter x Hunter and Rainbow in One Piece. <laughs> <laughs> All of my top ones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, as for my three favorites, I'm, I'm going to throw Code Geass in here too, but I have Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I mean, there's not really much to say about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood other than it's like the perfect anime. It literally has everything you want in one anime. I'd say it probably lacks in romance the most, but besides that, like everything else in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is perfect in my opinion. The second series I have, Gurren Lagann, another series that I'd say is for everyone, even if you don't like mechs, because I know Travis watched it and he doesn't like mechs, and Habits watched it and he doesn't really like mechs right now, but... They both love Gurren Lagann, I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah. I love uh, Gurren Lagann just, too, so. Hopefully. Yeah, just, uh, just the action, the hype, just communist quotes. Every time I hear them, see them anywhere on social media, I just get the feels. Just <laughs> seeing Simone and Nia together and just, oh my gosh, Gurren Lagann is awesome. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm, I'm blabbing on. Uh, Eureka 7 is the third series I have. It's sort of like Gurren Lagann as well. Not as much... Uh, action heavy but it has a lot of romance the story is really good and engaging and I love every single character in the gecko state which is the what's the name of the crew in Eureka 7 the gecko state every single character in that crew besides the damn three annoying little kids is, is, <laughs> is the is the like it's just amazing with Eureka 7 I say I throw Code Geass in there because that one as well just romance the action the story is so engaging and i'm not going to say anything about code Geass, but that ending like totally totally fucked me up and this one as well that i'm pretty sure a lot of you all know about fucking uh bikini warriors is <laughs> is, is, is a pretty damn it's a pretty damn good one i mean it's only 12 <laughs> episodes and if you can just sit there and watch 36 minutes because each episode is about three minutes you will have the best time of your life like i'm not even yeah, kidding guys pretty underrated yeah yeah and i don't think the three other people in here have watched it so they're missing oh. out <laughs> i haven't been blessed yet <laughs> um but yeah that that covers the four questions and i think that's going to do it for this podcast because this was just an introductory one obviously the ones coming in the future are going to be a lot longer than this one because i don't think this one was that long but we just want you guys to get familiar with us and get to know us a little bit with this first podcast and make sure you send topic suggestions and questions for the many more podcasts to come down in the uh, down in the comments of this video or at the SoundCloud or whatever. Also, don't forget to follow the Otaku A Team Twitter for updates and make sure to subscribe and follow our YouTube and SoundCloud pages. Every link you can think of will be down in the description below. And that's about it. Thank you to everyone who tuned into our first podcast and we hope to have you tune into the next one. See you next time. Bye bye.